Azo dyes still represent the most important class of dyes. They are prepared by diacetization of aniline followed by reaction with a coupling component. The setup consists of a reaction flask equipped with a stirrer, reflux condenser, dropping funnel, and a thermometer. The flask is filled with some water and concentrated sulfuric acid. Aniline is added to the warm solution. And an aqueous solution of sodium nitrite is poured into the dropping funnel. Ice is introduced to the flask for cooling, and then the sodium nitrite solution is added dropwise. The diazonium salt is spontaneously formed in an exothermic reaction, and care must be taken that the reaction temperature does not exceed 5 degrees Celsius which can be controlled by adding further ice. Now, two different azo dyes are prepared, one by coupling with dimethylamine, and for the other, beta-naphthol is used as a coupling component. The coupling reaction with dimethylamine requires acidic condition, therefore hydrochloric acid is added to this beaker, while phenols and naphthols couple in a basic medium for which sodium hydroxide solution is used. The coupling reagent is diluted and addition of the diazonium salt to the beta-naphthol spontaneously yields an orange azo dye. The azo coupling with dimethylamine also immediately commences on the addition of the diazonium salt to the dimethylamine solution. However, the dye precipitates from the acidic medium only after neutralizing with sodium carbonate and salting out with, for instance, sodium chloride. <laughs> 